Paul Cooley and I'm a policy advisor at the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. I've been privileged to follow the discussions over the last three days here among African governments and civil society participants. It's been a really rich discussion. I, what I take away is, is, I suppose, three main messages from, from, uh, from, from this region. First, that aid isn't dead. Uh, it really matters, and we heard this morning from government officials, from civil society, why some of the Paris Declaration and Accra Agenda for Action commitments on aid effectiveness really matter, uh, and a sense that more can be done to implement them. So we heard about the need for stronger mutual accountability, um, for more effort on the part of uh, international partners when it comes to using country systems, for example. Second, I think we've heard really powerful stories about how aid can be a means to an end. Um, uh, countries uh, coming together over the last few days uh, talking about how aid can be used to strengthen domestic resource mobilization, for example, to help fight tax evasion, uh, to help develop capacities for strong tax policy uh, and more effective tax administration. Third, I think there's this sense that the global partnership for effective development cooperation really matters. And what I've heard here for the last two or three days is that there's a real ambition on the part of African stakeholders to take some, measure, some, some, some strong messages, both about aid and about unfinished business on the aid agenda, but also about a beyond aid agenda and a broader development cooperation agenda. Uh, to take these messages to uh, next year's uh, first high-level meeting uh, of the Global Partnership in Mexico. So I really look forward to seeing um, African stakeholders uh, there in force sharing these messages uh, uh, in Mexico in 2014. Thank you.